brothers and sisters in Christ, we are definitely living in the final moment of time. <clears throat> now, I want to go through the signs of the times, the prophecies that have been literally fulfilled, and the ones that are in the middle of their fulfillment right now. The first sign is the rebirth of the nation of Israel. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 23 says that he would unite them into one nation. And it goes on. The whole house, the bones are the whole house of Israel. The valley of the dry bones. And in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 24, I will take them and bring them back in their own land. And there's many other um, scriptures. And yet that would have been totally impossible if Hitler would have succeeded and wiped them off of the face of the map. But yet God keeps his word. He said that there will always be a seed of David. And then also, uh, where it says in Zechariah chapter 12, that Jerusalem shall become a burdensome stone for all peoples. All people. And yet look at today. Jerusalem and Israel is the center of a world attention. That's exactly what happened. Because of this. For the for um because the real war is going to be over the city of Jerusalem, because even the Vatican, the United Nations, the Muslims, they want Israel to give up their sovereignty over the city of Jerusalem. And yet back then you would have thought that was impossible. And yet today that's the that that's what's happening but that was impossible before the Jews got it back in possession June 5th through 10th 1967 during the Six Day War they got Jerusalem back as capital and plus all the preparations that are going on right now that was totally impossible to even dream of a total cashless society. Now you can control commerce. Because we have to go into an electronic system. There's no reason for cash anymore. And so many people already don't even use cash. They use their credit cards, debit cards, you name it. Cashless transactions. And it does make sense we about electronic system, but it would be good if they would use it for the right purpose, but they're not going to use it for that purpose. They're using it for control, to control the people. <clears throat> and you have all these new technologies coming out, so they have a special tattoo ink, a special chip that can monitor your heart, you name it. So it's going to be an electronic tattoo mark, or a laser mark, or a biometric mark, which will be the mark of the beast. And about the rise and the formation of a one world government, everything that's happening right now in the New Age movement that is, is, uh, in, is, is with the one world government and a new in the one world religion. <laughs> This is literally amazing. All these things are in the middle of its fulfillment right now. And plus, the rebuilding of the third temple. The Jewish temple will be rebuilt in, Jer in Jerusalem. They already have it under construction in the Temple Institute and in many other uh, different areas. They already have the Levi. They have the special equipment. They have the red heifer. You name it. They already have the things ready. That's exactly what the Bible said would happen. All these things is right before our very eyes. All these signs are pointing directly to the tribulation period. And this too. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9 says that I will restore unto them a pure language. 
because when the Jews were scattered, okay, I want to see if I can get this fast. Okay, just wait. Did you know God? Did you know that God predicted the future and history? Well, because now it's history. That's why he precision. He predicted the future with right precision. That all this originated outside of time because it's history written down before it takes place. So I want to go into Luke chapter 21, and there's many other um, many other verses in um, the Old Testament that talks about the dispersion of the Jews. But I want to go to Luke chapter 21, verse 20, right here. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then realize that her desolation is at hand. Desolation is going to be destroyed. And let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains then. Let those who are in the midst of the city depart. And let not those who are in the country enter the city. Because these are the days of vengeance in order that all things which are written may be fulfilled. The things that the prophets spoke about and so on. They're going to be fulfilled. And that's exactly what happened. And it goes on. Woe to those who are with child and to those who are nursing babies in those days. For there will be great distress upon the land and wrath to this people. He's speaking to the Jews here. And they will fall by the edge of the sword and will be led captive into all nations into all nations. Isn't that amazing? That's exactly what happened in 70 AD. In 70 AD, this prophecy was literally fulfilled. When they destroyed the temple, they destroyed the city of Jerusalem, but also, Jesus talked about it in Matthew chapter 23. He actually was weeping over the city of Jerusalem because he foresaw the destruction coming. Matthew chapter 23. Right here. True. Well, I'll start from 35. Then, okay, that upon you may fall the guilt of all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of righteous Abel to, to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Bishel. I don't know how to pronounce his name, who you murdered between the temple and the altar. <clears throat> Truly I say to you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together, the way a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you were unwilling. Behold, your house is being laid, left to you desolate. Desolate. For I say to you, from now on you shall not see me until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I don't have enough time to explain all the prophecies that have been fulfilled because there's just so many, like Russia and Iran, the first time in history, because in the past they never even liked each other. They couldn't even stand each other. But the first time in human history, Iran and Russia have signed a military al alliance Russia supplying a nuclear Iran, you name it. And Isaiah chapter 17 is already in the middle of its fulfillment. Behold, the burden against Damascus. Damascus shall cease from being a city. It's going to be wiped off the face of the map. That's why prophe prophecy was given to us to warn us of things to come. Okay? 
to whoever is listening to this. If you feel God dealing with your heart to get right with them, my prayer for you is that you will not reject them, but that you would receive him. So repent of your sin and place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. All the prophecies are right before our very eyes. They're getting ready to rebuild the temple in, in uh, Jerusalem and so many other things. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Because I'm so tired. Because I didn't go to sleep yet, ladies and gentlemen. It's 11.18. I just have a burden. I can't stop preaching, you know. I just want to preach and preach and preach. So, the Jews were scattered to the four corners of the earth. They were slaves. And no, one, no other race in human history has ever been taken off the real estate that they were taken out of. And they were cast to the four corners of the earth that have never been brought back. When the, It was a desert. Okay? Israel was a desert. Jerusalem was destroyed. I'm going to put a video below this uh, description. You guys can watch it about Jerusalem. You want to watch it. And yet, God said it. He'd bring them back in a day. And Israel was brought back in a day. That's in Isaiah 66, verse 8. And there's so many other scriptures. Yeah, He brought them back in a day. He brought them back into their land, exactly as He said He would. But there was a guy in the 1800s. Wait, I want to get into it. Because there was a guy there. Well, the sci even scientists were saying there, there's no, we cannot explain this. Like, there's no grass, there's nothing growing. It's just a desert. Mark Twain visited Israel. He said he couldn't wait to get back. There was no place to, to lay under for shade. There was nothing. There was no animals, nothing. And yet God said that Israel would only respond to the right feet. That's exactly what happened when the Jews came back in. Everything started growing. The grass, everything. And it says in Isaiah somewhere that Israel shall face the earth with fruit and they're selling plants to Holland, you name it. But I want to get to this. In the 1800s, there was this guy <clears throat> that restored the language, the Hebrew language. He restored it exactly as the Bible stated. This is God's word. That's why there's no such thing as an atheist. But God says, I tell you the future. I'm going to tell you the future before it happens, so that when it happens, you'll remember that I told you before it happens. And every single thing in this book is coming to pass. And so much of the prophecies of the Bible have already come to pass, literally, to precision, right on target. They came right on, because this is God's word. God is showing that he is the only true God. And that the Bible is indeed his holy word. That every single thing in there has happened with precision. Like, I mean, right on target to exact detail, 100% accuracy. Exactly as he said, word for word, line upon line. It has been fulfilled. And that's what's going to happen, my friend. So for my brothers and sisters in Christ, be ready. Because the next event that takes place on God's prophetic calendar is the rapture of the church. So that's what I want to say. Now if you go to Israel, <clears throat> they're speaking Hebrew, their own language, exactly as the Bible said. I will restore unto them a pure language. That's in Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9. So I want to put that video below because it's just amazing. Like God tells the history before it happens. It's about Jerusalem. Like how is this old city of biblical times so part of our world today? That's why it's part of God's plan. It's part of his plan. It's just amazing. So I'm going to put it below the description. And uh, this is all i got to say. So for my brothers and sisters in Christ, just be ready to meet the Lord. All the signs have been fulfilled. Everything's ready to go right now. We're about to be, we're about to be out of here. So this is all i got to say. And uh, God bless you.